Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Search Officer in the Department of Agronomy at GB Panth University of Agriculture and Technology, Panthanagar, Uttarakhand. This lecture is based on the importance and the types of characteristics of watershed. When we study a watershed, there are different types of landform and channels, stream, different slope, size, shape, etc. So there are different type of uh, features which affect the different process. So why we do study the different features and different characteristics of this watershed? What is the importance? What is the util utility? And uh, what is the classification or how many types of characteristics are there in a watershed? As uh, we know that uh, watershed is a geo hydrological unit. Geo means earth and hydrological means related to water. So when we study a watershed, so definitely we study the land characteristics and the stream characteristics, water characteristics or channel characteristics. So when we talk about the characteristics of watershed means we are talking or we are saying the characteristics of the land, of the field in the area and what are the uh, water channel, stream, river, etc. So both characteristics are st studied under uh, this watershed land as well as water. And mainly this characteristics are uh, related to the hydrological process to know what are the hydrological process and how these hydrological process are affected because this watershed is related uh, with the uh, rainfall water conservation and utilization of the runoff water and their collection storage and utilization of land and water resources. So main theme of watershed management is conservation of natural resources particularly land and water so that's why we study the characteristics of land and water and particularly with the hydrological process and when uh, we talk about the hydrological process it, it is related with hydrological cycle and there are five major hydrological process condensation precipitation Then third uh, one is infiltration, infiltrate into the soil, then some is runoff, used as overland flow and fifth one is ET, evapotranspiration. So all these processes occur in an area and a major uh, water availability source is water. Uh, rainfall and this infiltration increases soil moisture storage ability while runoff is output loss of water it is also loss of water and condensation precipitation responsible for the ability if the balance is maintained then water can be utilized properly for the crop production for livestock or for well being so it means the how these processes are affected by a area so these processes occur everywhere globally but this Hydrological process are affected differently in different area. So that's why we have to study the characteristics of a particular area so that we can manage these processes and can utilize their rainfall water, runoff water, and can we use uh, we can use uh, this evapotranspiration effectively so that we can maximize our productivity and can maintain the production and can uh, sustain the system. So that this is the importance of characteristics of watershed, uh, this watershed to study the hydrological process and to quantify also, quantify uh, this process, how much precipitation is there, uh, if rain means how much rainfall is there, then we can make a cropping system and then grow the crop accordingly. And then what is the infiltration? What is the soil moisture storage capacity? What is the runoff? If runoff volume is high, then we can store it, we can make a check dam, dam, tank, pond, etc. We can make water harvesting structure. And then what is the ET? If ET is high, means aridity is more. It means we have to adopt the soil moisture conservation practices. So these characteristics help in quantification of this hydrological process. And ultimately, we have to use this water for the production, efficient management of the crop so that we can sustain maintain the system so this is the importance of study of characteristics of watershed so major characteristics are land characteristics and the stream channel water flowing characteristics 
and these characteristics uh, can be uh, categorized in three a uh, category we can say there are three types of characteristics of a watershed uh, first one is linear aspect so three types first one is linear aspect characteristics linear aspect characteristics are related with the channel stream so this is linear means line so it is one dimension characteristics so one dimension so our interest is in the length and the width one dimension is length or width so these type of characteristics uh, uh, are related with the channel uh, what, uh, channel characteristic or stream or river etc and the example is a watershed length what is the watershed length actually watershed uh, length uh, is the uh, actually stream length when we talk about the watershed length so it is not the uh, geographical uh, length actually uh, our interest is in channel length or river length how long is the, uh, this river or channel then watershed width watershed perimeter perimeter then stream number number of streams how many streams are there then stream order stream order uh, uh, means the uh, first uh, uh, stream which is initiated known as first order uh, suppose this is the uh, uh, rainfall and runoff so one channel is started here then it is the second channel so this is the original unbranched channel so then it makes the another channel then this this is the supposed flow this is the flow then uh, suppose it is flowing like that so uh, so this is the first first channel first channel unbranched and is small so it is designated as first order channel so it is the first order first order channel means which is unbranched is small and initiated first term this is also first channel whenever two first order meets then it make the second order so this is the second order channel similarly in here it is first order it is first order and now this is the second order channel now this is following the second order and when this two second order meets then it make third order so here at this point the third or two second order meets this is the first uh, this is second order this is second order so this is the third order जो पहली चैनल निकलती है बिल्कुल स्टार्ट में उसको फर्स्ट नंबर देते हैं जब दो फर्स्ट मिल जाती हैं तो उसको सेकंड देते हैं और जब दो सेकंड मिल जाती है उसको थर्ड नंबर देते हैं सो नाउ दिस इज द थर्ड ऑर्डर स्ट्रीम सो सिमिलरली फर्स्ट ऑर्डर स्ट्रीम सेकंड ऑर्डर स्ट्रीम फोर्थ ऑर्डर स्ट्रीम इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द नंबर ऑफ ब्रांचेस ओके सो स्ट्रीम ऑर्डर एंड दिस इज द लीनियर आस्पेक्ट तो ये आपको क्लियर होना चाहिए कि फर्स्ट ऑर्डर क्या होती है फिर से मैं आपको इसको बता दे रहा हूँ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर स्ट्रीम क्या है इसमें बहुत बच्चों को कन्फ्यूजन है कि फर्स्ट ऑर्डर स्ट्रीम क्या है कि वाटर शेड में जब रेनफॉल स्टार्ट होता है रन ऑफ स्टार्ट होगा तो जो पहली चैनल बनेगी दैट इज़ दी फर्स्ट ऑर्डर दिस इज़ दी फर्स्ट ऑर्डर इट इज़ ऑल्सो फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड दे मीट एट ए प्लेस वैन टू मीट्स देन इट मेक ए सेकेंड ऑर्डर चैनल सो दिस इज द सेकेंड ऑर्डर चैनल this is the uh, second order channel then similarly at other place water is flowing like that this is the first order another is coming from this place this is the first order and they meet here so this is the second order first first makes second order now this is the, like that and this second order meet here so two second order this is the, the second order now it meets and may join together then make a large stream that that is the third order so first order is unbranched is small then two first order makes second order and two or more than two make uh, third order similarly three order stream makes four order so this is the stream order so this is the linear aspect and second one is aerial aspect characteristics 
the aerial uh, aspects are related with the area so that's why aerial aspects are related with uh, or related to two dimension second one is aerial aspects so this is related to the area so this is two dimension because in area length and width both are present so it is two dimension aspect like watershed area what is the watershed area shape slope this come under the aerial aspects then compactness coefficient compactness coefficient then drainage density drainage density uh, indicate how many uh, channels are present uh, how many length of channel present per unit area circulatory ratio circulatory ratio actually this ratio indicate the shape of the um, watershed how much close is to circular shape circulate uh, circulatory ratio elongation ratio how much it is elongated elongated elongation ratio so these are the important aerial aspects characteristics so this character are very important particularly watershed area which is important to know how much volume is generated if area is large so more volume will be generated and heterogeneity will be more in more area if, if shape is fine shaped circular shape so flood magnitude will be high slope is more velocity of runoff will be high and it will be difficult to tackle the runoff and the compactness coefficient how much it is a circular shape and similarly circulatory ratio elongation ratio related with the shape and drainage density indicate uh, uh, actually the number of streams and, uh, length of the stream per unit area if drainage density is more it means more uh, channels are present so it means um, uh, easiness in the runoff so waha drainage density jyada hai to uska matlab channels jo hai streams jo hai ya nadi choti choti nadiyan hai छोटे छोटे चैनल्स हैं बहुत ज्यादा है तो दीज आर द एरियल आस्पेक्ट एंड थर्ड वन इज द रिलीफ आस्पेक्ट थर्ड वन एंड द रिलीफ इज द स्टडी ऑफ एलिवेशन डिफरेंस इन एलिवेशन बिटवीन द टू टू पॉइंट्स तो थर्ड वन इज रिलीफ आस्पेक्ट actually this is the three dimension three dimension aspects so in three dimension uh, means volume in linear only length in area length and width and three dimension means volume means length width height and rel relief means the elevation difference between two points how much uh, area is elevated and how much is depressed so relief uh, indicate uh, the elevation of the area and it is uh, different from topography topography indicate the land form Uh, how much mountain plain valley area desert area marine area loess uh, cliff waterfall to so, jo topography hoti hai usse pata chalta hai ki mountain kahan hai plain kahan hai valley kahan hai waterfall kahan ho raha hai kahan pe ridge hai kahan pe desert hai kahan pe marine hai kahan pe beach hai uh, kahan pe cliff hai lekin jo relief hai pata chalta hai ki jo zameen unchi niche kitni hai to jo elevation batata hai relief indicates the elevation difference between two points so actually uh, it uh, affect the slope so this relief aspect is related with the, uh, related with the uh, dimension so watershed relief uh, kaisa hai if slope ka magnitude batayega watershed relief uh, relative relief hum do points ki jab study karte hain relative relief and also it indicate the uh, channel or stream slope stream slope सपोज रिलीफ इज हाई मीन्स द एलिवेशन बिटवीन टू पॉइंट इज मोर सपोज दिस इज द फर्स्ट पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड पॉइंट सो एंड विद रेफरेंस टू दिस बेस विद रेफरेंस टू दिस बेस सपोज दिस इज द बेस सो दिस इज द एलिवेशन ऑफ दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द एलिवेशन ऑफ दिस पॉइंट सो द टोटल डिफरेंस इज ऑनली दिस वन सो दिस इज द रिलीफ बिटवीन टू पॉइंट ए एंड बी एंड अनदर कंडीशन मे बी दैट uh if uh, it is like that uh like that so this is the first point a this is the first point b and this is the base now 
with reference point elevation is made with reference uh, line or reference point so this is the reference line so actually the relief is this one this is the elevation difference so if elevation difference is more means relief is more definitely slope will be more if slope is more then stream uh, slope will be high and runoff uh, velocity will be very high so these are the relief aspects so there are three uh, uh, aspects or three types we can say uh, linear linear aspects which is related with the stream number and stream order then aerial aspect with the area means the watershed area size uh, shape and the relief aspects with the with respect to elevation so it may be asked so how these are uh, uh, related so linear one dimension aerial two dimension and relief three dimension so these are the uh, types three types of character sticks so importance is that by the relief by the stream number stream order channel slope we can uh, quantify the uh, how much runoff is generated and we can know uh, what is the annual rainfall amount and then uh, how much infiltration is there in soil and how much it is there by knowing the temperature and the annual rainfall so accordingly we adopt the uh, cultivation practices to conserve the moisture and runoff is high then water harvesting structures are made so this is the importance of characteristics of uh, watershed uh, to maintain the hydrological process and the conservation of land and water resources so these characteristics uh, are actually related with the land and uh, water uh, characteristics so sometimes these are also known as uh, geomorphological characteristics geo morphology or also known as geomorphology or geomorphological characteristics of watershed geo means earth and morphology means external feature or morphology is the study of external feature so that's why these characteristics are also known as geomorphological or geomorphological characteristics so it may be asked what, what uh, are geomorphological characteristics related to the land and water character, uh, characteristics in a water shed so this is the importance and the types of the char uh, characteristics of watershed thank you very much